John Houston was an American lawyer and statesman from Savannah, Georgia. He was one of the original Sons of Liberty and also a delegate for Georgia in the Continental Congress in 1775. He was the sixth governor of Georgia in 1778 and again in 1784 to 1785. Personal life John was born to aristocratic Scots immigrants in St. George's Parish, near modern Waynesboro and the eastern border of Georgia. His parents were Sir Patrick and Priscilla Houston. His father served as the registrar of land grants for the Georgia colony and the collector of quit rents. John was educated in Savannah and read law there. He was admitted to the bar and started a law practice in Savannah. Houston married Hannah Bryan, whose father Jonathan was a wealthy Savannah merchant. They built their home, White Bluff, about nine miles northwest of Savannah. The couple had no children. Revolutionary years. Houston was a successful lawyer and was appointed to the governor's council by James Wright. But in 1774, Houston was one of the founders of the nascent revolutionary government in Georgia. He joined with Archibald Bullock and others to form a committee of correspondents in support of the residents of Boston suffering the effects of the Boston Port Act. The committee went on to create formal protests against other measures brought about by the Intolerable Act. That same year, John was a representative in the Rebel Provincial Congress of Georgia, and they named him as a delegate to the First Continental Congress. He declined, since fewer than half the counties were represented in the Provincial Congress. By 1775 this defect was remedied and he accepted that appointment. In Congress, he was a strong supporter of the movement toward independence but resisted the non-importation agreements because of their negative effects on the southern colonies. He was reappointed to the National Congress in 1776 but did not attend. He stayed at home to work with the Committee of Safety to thwart the loyalist efforts of the popular preacher and loyalist, John Zubli. Early in 1778, he was elected as the second revolutionary governor of Georgia also being the first governor of Georgia to be born in Georgia. That same year, he took charge of the Georgia militia in an abortive attempt to seize the British post of St. Augustine, Florida. His disagreements with the Continental Army commander, Robert Howe, contributed greatly to the failure of the expedition. When the British, in response, captured Savannah on December 29, Houston was forced into hiding. Later career, after the surrender at Yorktown, the British abandoned Savannah in 1782. Houston returned home and was elected to another one-year term as governor in 1784. On September 28, 1784 Governor John Houston granted four 5,000-acre tracts of vacant land in Franklin County, Georgia to French Vice Admiral Destaring and his heirs. The four bounty land grants totaling 20,000 acres were subsequently registered on June 13, 1785. In 1790 he became the first elected mayor of Savannah, and in 1791 was appointed a justice of the Superior Court of Georgia. After 1792 he served as president of the Chatham Academy. John died at his home, White Bluff, just outside Savannah on July 20, 1796. Houston County in central Georgia was named for him. The variation in spelling is typical of early 19th century orthography. John Houston pronounced his name, House Tun, and that pronunciation has been adopted in the locales named in his honor.